Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions Review for Underlock. In Early Access, it released on the Steam Store back in January for the HTC Vive and the Valve Index. Uh, I actually bought this on sale back in April, 25% off. It normally retails for 10 bucks, and that's pretty cheap. Uh, this is a horror, asymmetrical multiplayer game, but you can't play it single player. Uh, I'm not sure you can actually play this game multiplayer uh, with randoms. I don't believe it has enough people. I don't think that if you try to join a game that you'll ever do that. Um, but you can play single player, and that's what I'll be testing out today on the Oculus Quest 2 using the Oculus Link cable. Um, and that's why I'm calling it Initial Impressions versus a full review, just because I have not been able to test out multiplayer, and I don't believe it'll work. Um, but there's basically no way for me to do that. Um, I have noticed some issues. Uh, the One of the big issues is that this game does give you the option of choosing the Oculus SDK or Steam VR. If you choose the Oculus mode, uh, you'll start under the floor. So you do have to choose Steam VR, which is what I'm doing right now. It does have quick turning and smooth turning, but it seems like every time you die, it goes back to uh, snap turning. And uh, as you can, oh, uh, it also has some optimization issues uh, depending on the map. Some of the maps I do get close to 90 frames per second, you know, with some frame rate drops. Other maps I go 40, 45 frames per second, very variable frame rates, just depending on the map and what's going on. So it definitely needs some optimization. This is running on the Unity engine. Uh, one of the maps, that, let's go ahead and start a, let's start a game. <laughs> Sorry, let's talk, I'm talking too much. Let's just start a game. I'm sure you guys want to see. I'm talking too much. So you have four survivors. You can pick anyone. Let's pick Kate. Um, there's four maps. Now, the abandoned school is the same one as in Phasmophobia, only not as nice. Now, I would say the visuals here overall do look better than Phasmophobia. I'm not sure exactly why, but they look more crisp to me, more realistic. But the map is exactly the same. Well, not exactly the same, but it's the same model as the one in Phasmophobia. Uh, we're going to choose dark house and there's two monsters flat face or weeper i've heard that flat face is more interesting so we're gonna go with flat face let's go ahead and start so basically in this game you're looking for keys that's the whole gameplay so you're trying to run away from the monster not, not let the monster find you and then finding the right key to open the right door and just keep going on and on so on and so forth um you know what? I don't want to do that. I want to... I think I've had some issues with putting the flashlight in the same hand as my movement hand. So I'm using the left hand to move. So, uh, like I said, this is the smooth turning. It is pretty slow. With the snap turning, it also uh, has a very small degree. So you can't open these. So th there are some things you can interact with. And I believe you can open this door. Yes. So not all doors are locked, but uh, some of them are. You just gotta be careful. And I'm not exact exactly sure how to deal with flat face. So I don't know if that means the monster's nearby. Oh, come on. So I died. <laughs> I had read that if you put the flashlight, they're not supposed to... Okay, well. Okay, let's try the other monster. Okay, are we... We're dead, right? Yeah. I think we, we are dead, right? Yes, I believe we are dead. We can, I don't think we can move or anything. Okay. Disconnect. Okay. That was quick. Uh, let's try Joe. Let's try a different map. Um, let's go to the hospital. And let's try Weeper this time. Okay. Hopefully we last longer this time. <laughs> so like I said, you got some doors are open. Some of them are locked. If they're locked, you got to find the right key. Now, I like to put this in my right hand because I 
Oh, right now, uh, smooth turning stopped working. So I'm having to cl to use snap turning. To use snap turning, you actually have to click on your joystick. So like I said, this game is a bit buggy. Now there are some keys here. And you look at the shape of the key, it's like a heart. And this is your inventory system. I don't like this inventory system. There's something here. Password. Oh my god. 986592. How am I going to remember that? Okay, 986592. 986592. Remember that. 986592. Yeah, I'm going to forget. I'm definitely going to forget. Okay. Is there anything else? 986592. Anything else? Okay, is this the heart shaped key? No, this is just open. Is this the uh, already? Oh, this is the heart shaped key. So, this is pretty clunky. Okay, put it back. Okay, we opened it. Ah, that was a lot harder than it should have been. Now, uh, Phasmophobia also has an asylum, but I don't think this is the same map. Wait, is this, is this locked? I don't see. Oh, okay, there's four squares. So there's music, but I don't see anything. There's a heart here, so we can open that. Okay. And you can see this is. This is a lot harder than it has to be, this whole system here. Very clunky mechanics. We can go downstairs? Wow. Uh-oh. You don't want to... Really? All right, if you didn't move, it won't get to you. Okay, well, apparently we were, we were wrong. So, <laughs> anyways, that's under lock. I don't want to make this a very long video. Um, my, I played this for over an hour now, and it, I just don't like the controls, to be honest with you. I, I don't like the controls. Um, one of the issues, and you didn't really see it in this gameplay, I, I think as I learned to uh, not let that happen, but sometimes when I was trying to go forward, I would go backward instead. And I think one thing I noticed if I keep my hands down, that seems to happen less. Uh, but you saw how the whole opening door to the key was very clunky. The inventory system is terrible. The interactions are just very poor. The gameplay is very simple. You're just basically looking for keys that match the door symbol. Open the door, just keep doing it till you get out eventually. All the while you're avoiding the monsters. And single player, that's all you can do. You know, there is no 4v1 multiplayer unless you're able to find an online group. Um, I've heard some issues that it doesn't work, but I, it seems to me that it does work for some people. For some people, it was, didn't work. Uh, I don't know if you can make a party and try to go online together. It might be that you need to just join the server and hope you all get into the same group. I think that's the way it works. Uh, Local, local multiplayer, I think that only works with uh, non-VR. So this does support non-VR as well. Uh, it's only 10 bucks. Um, because of the cheap price, I think I can give this game at least a 5 out of 10 neutral recommendation. But it definitely needs a lot of work. It, it's so clunky right now, and the gameplay is too basic. It needs definitely needs more monsters or more refined mechanics something other than i think i got the i'm not sure exactly how the mechanics works for avoiding the, the monsters in single player 
Um, the, I was able to escape, but the, the way I was able to escape is basically I just avoided the monster. I, I've heard that maybe if you shine your flashlight, don't move, don't talk, that uh, it won't get you, but it still got me, so I don't know exactly why. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my initial impressions for Underlock Early Access. It's got potential, if it, you know, but it's only one solo developer. And I'm afraid that it's never going to reach its potential. So I can only give this a 5 out of 10. It's only 10 bucks. So it's, it's a uh, low risk. Uh, it's only 10 bucks. It's low risk. But it's also not exactly uh, hopeful that it'll actually pay off. So <laughs> keep that in mind. Uh, it is scary, though. <laughs> I got to admit, I, I, this game is atmospheric. It, 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 the graphics are nice. And so for only 10 bucks, you know, I, I think a 5 out of 10 is a fair uh, score for it. Um, I don't think it's horrible. Um, I mean, sure, it's got bad controls, bad inventory system, simple gameplay. But for only 10 bucks, given the scares you might get, uh, I think that the issue is whether you can play online with your friends and I don't know the answer to that uh, especially with VR I really don't know that, that it'll work I do know that you cannot play as the monster with VR so you need at least one non-VR player at the very least that's what I do know from reading the community forums for this game on Steam anyways I'm Fast Lawyer this has been Underlock if you liked my review don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always have a wonderful day goodbye <laughs>